You received your instructions in the dressing room. Expect a clean bout out of both of you. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves now. Go back to your corner. We'll get going. And with that, we're set to go. One piece of advice would be uh, don't blink here, Steve. Both these guys can bang. And Fedosov, Barry, is a fighter who, when he scores knockouts, he scores knockouts. His guys go down. No. It's not the referee stopping the fight. He's a heavy-handed guy, but he has to get close <laughs> to be effective. He's not very good from long range. And Heredia, although he does have 11 knockouts in his 13 career victories, <laughs> he really considers himself more of a boxer. So that's what he hopes to do, work behind the jab for Fedosov, get inside. Already, it did have three fights in the World Series of Boxing, which is a fairly high-level competition. Actually, those fights count on his pro uh, record. Pretty sharp jab, and a moment ago, pretty sharp left hook from Heredia. Yeah, that jab's going to be a key, Barry, because, as I said, Fedosov has to get inside to be effective. And if Heredia can land that jab repeatedly, he's going to score a lot of points, catch the guy coming in. Yeah, it's a strong jab. It's not just a show-me jab. There's a quick left hand from Fedosov, and I, I actually think that got Heredia's attention. Again, that left hand jab. Two more from Heredia. And you know, when a fighter comes in as heavy as Heredia, although he's been this weight for his last three or four fights, there's a tendency to dismiss him and say, well, he didn't train. He, this is a big guy. He says it's muscle, Barry. That's what he told us. <laughs> I don't think it's muscle around the sides there, but. <laughs> or in the shoulders, perhaps. <laughs> Midway through the first round. <laughs> Fedosov, not even six foot one in this day and age of heavyweight boxing. That's really short. And again, it, it, it is a very sharp jab being thrown by Heredia. And so far, it's been very effective. It's kept Fedosov off of him. And we talked about our featured fight on Extreme Monroe and Thompson both being Boxino champions. Same thing for Fedosov. He won the Boxino heavyweight tournament. Heredia says he wants to be the first Mexican heavyweight champion of the world. Comes from a fighting family. His brother is a fighter, uh, still an amateur, undefeated as an amateur. <laughs> Left hand from Fedosov. Best punch of the fight for him. There's a lot at stake here, Barry, for Fedosov. It's, you know, it's a good time to be a heavyweight contender with the division having been pretty much reborn with Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, and Tyson Fury. And, this guy is uh, not far away from being, you know, he's not a top 10 contender now for sure, but not that far away either. No, we talked to him about it. He's very aware of that. And that's why he wants to make a statement here tonight, although I think it's pretty fair to say he's not winning this first round. I'm with you. You don't have to go inside. He's going to come inside. He's going to get frustrated and then he's going to try to come inside. Keep your, when he misses, then you come in and you take advantage of it. He can catch you if you come in, so watch out. You're doing good. You're doing it good. Okay? And change. Change if you have a chance. That's some pretty sound advice in his corner. Yeah, Fedosov trained by Marvin Simodio. That's uh, Freddie Roach's chief assistant. And uh, Fedosov's done a lot of work with Freddie Roach at the wild card. Show stats in round one, Barry. Uh, Heredia landed 13 jabs, and I think, as you pointed out, that was pretty much the story of the round right there. Work your way out. Break. So they back. want Heredia to stay outside, work that jab, don't get caught stepping in. If he misses, they said, then step in. 
Fedosa largely uh, quiet, though, not throwing a lot of punches early in this fight. I don't see a lot of head movement. Maybe, that, maybe that's why he's getting hit with the jab as much as he is. Okay, break. Step back. Let go. Step back. You see uh, Heredia throwing 48 jabs. That's an incredible total. Most heavyweights don't throw 48 punches, period, in a round. That's right. But you have to ask the question, given his weight, can he maintain a, a reasonably quick pace for what is a 10-round fight? I think that is the question. There's a left hand from Fedosov. And already has never been past six as a pro. Continues to work that jab and with some effectiveness. Fedosov just caught him just a little bit. It wasn't a full-on shot. Him. Let him go. What strikes me is that even though Fedosov really hasn't caught, caught Heredia flush, when he has caught him even a little bit, Heredia has taken a step back. Three punch combination for Fedosov. For the first time in the fight, you saw Heredia take a couple of backward steps. <laughs> oh, keep the punches up. Break. Step back, don't punch. <clears throat> well, if Heredia did his homework, and there's plenty of YouTube on uh, Fedosov, he should know that the moments when Fedosov does get close, Heredia should grab. Why fight him on the inside? Exactly. Even though you're a big guy, you could drape yourself over him, use that 286 pounds, but why do it? Why not just hold, let the referee be set, and then you back outside? Good left hand. That Break. caught Heredia flush. And a little ironic smile from Heredia, kind of looked to his corner to acknowledge Break. that he got Break. hit with a solid shot. A little bit better round so Break. far for Fedosov. He's still not doing a great job, though, of getting Break. close. And there's another left hand from Fedosov. So two pretty good shots from Fedosov. We'll see if that changes the game, game plan of Heredia. End of two. Sit down. Breathe. Respira profundo. Breathe nice and deep. You need to stay. You need to stay. He got, he got you in, in, in the distance, but you got to keep fighting that way. Barry mentioned uh, the second round was a better round for Fedosov. Here's why. He started getting busy with his left hand. Counter left hook there. And the key, of course, is he has to be close enough to land that counter punch. And here he's on the attack. And this was the first time really in the fight, the only time so far in the fight where he landed the combination. Went upstairs first, then downstairs. Also in the second round, which is a good round for Fedosov. Big left hook, catches him flush. Heredia's chin a little bit uh, up in the air. Punch needs to glance off of Heredia's glove just a bit. And I think that might have taken just a little bit away from it. <laughs> round three of this 10 rounder. <laughs> Redia's corner wants him to fight the fight he's been fighting. That is, stay at long range with the jab. If Fedosov does manage to come in, then he could try to counter. In round two, both fighters landed 11 punches, but Fedosov threw only 22. Pretty low total. Another good solid left hand from Fedosov. I mentioned Fedosov can bang. Each got there with a left hand. Heredia got there with a left, so to Fedosov, there's a right hand from Heredia. That backs Fedosov up into the ropes, a right hand caught him to gloves. Another right hand, and Fedosov bounces off the ropes of the right hand of his own. Wow, Fedosov, a good puncher, but uh, Heredia showing very heavy hands also. As we said, he's knocked out 11 of his 13 opponents, so we know he's got something. Fedosov scores with the right hand, misses with a counter left. Blood from the nose now, Heredia. Ha! 
action third round so far. Yeah, pretty good pace for heavyweights. Yeah. And, and a pretty good pace for a heavyweight when one of them weighs 286 pounds. Yeah. What a good hard left hand from Fedosov. I'll tell you, Barry, the last couple of minutes, Fedosov's jabs have been just as effective, if not more effective, yeah. than those of uh, already. Right. Fedosov, right now, a little bit more in range. And there was a big left hand. And that one hurt Heredia. And Heredia okay, holds on. Talk about chance. Both these fighters have been down once in their respective careers. Another big left hand. Heredia ducked right into it. Left hand behind and drops him. That corner. Four. Five. Heredia seems to be okay. Seven. Eight. Come here, you go. What's that? Uh, 20 seconds to go here in the round. Does Fedozov have enough time to finish? Heredia holds back. on here. Still 10 through. seconds remaining. Bell Get cannot down. save the fighter, remember. <laughs> Big round for Fedozov. This fight has certainly turned. Here's the knockdown. You see Heredia with his gloves by his sides, leaning away from a left hook that caught him. Fedosov didn't really land anything else, but uh, it was enough to send Heredia down. And again, Heredia actually took some of the steam away from that punch by leaning back, but he did it with his hands down. He still got caught on the chin. And uh, Heredia... Boy, this fight really turned because for that first round, Heredi did everything he wanted to do. Kept the fight at a distance, landed his jab. I think that first left hand might have done the original damage. So this is round four of this 10 round fight. And already is going to have to find something that was not there in the last round. A cuffing left hand from Heredia. Heredia says, come on. I like it. There are a lot of heavyweights, Barry, untested heavyweights, who if they went down like he did, the fight would be out of them. They, they, they would have lost every inch, every ounce of fight in them and right. Heredia seems to still looking to come forward he still wants to fight oh watch your heads in there guys watch your heads okay all right you're both all right let's go and big edge for Fedosov and power shots again not all that busy but landing 53 percent that tells you all you need to know This is round four. We're going ten. Big left hand again and a left hand behind it. And that backs Heredia out once more. Two shots to the body and a combination up top and Heredia against the ropes. Nice mix of punches from Fedosov upstairs and downstairs. He's losing confidence now, Barry. You see this body language. He, he doesn't seem very concerned about the jab coming into his face anymore. And Fedosov just biding his time, looking for the good shot. Left hand, then an uppercut a little short. Heredia throws one off his heels. The back. I would look for that left hook from Fedosov because Heredia is not doing a good job of keeping his glove up. Looks, to me, up. looks to me, Steve, like his legs might be betraying him a little bit here, too. Lays in on the ropes now. Three, four jabs and a chopping right hand. Work your way out. Work your way out of there. All right, but Fedosov seems happy to hold there, which doesn't serve him any good. Breathing through his mouth now, just took a big breath. Those all missed. And look where Heredia's hands are. Both of them low. Just stop punching. Let's go. Ba. 
That jab not as effective as it was, Barry. No. Left hand knocks him down. One good Three, left hand, four, and it dropped him. Five, six, seven, eight. Are we doing all right? Yeah, good. And I do think his legs have it's betrayed him here. Final seconds. Another big left hand. Pedrosa just trying to survive the round, or rather, Heredia trying to survive the round, and does. The three three. What you got to keep that right hand up. He's getting to you. Just keep breathing. You got to keep that right hand up. If you have that right hand up, he can't get in. It happened suddenly in round four. Again, the left hook, a nice short left hook, and really what's benefited Her Heredia a lot is that both in the round, th round three and four, the knockdowns occurred with about 20 seconds left in the round. That enabled him to get up and have to only kill a few more seconds. There's the short left hook. You see Heredia almost leaning into the punch. This is round five, and this fight is completely changed in favor of Fedosov. First round, very big for Heredia. Since that time, Fedosov started to get back in it in the second round and has owned the third and fourth. Knockdowns in each. Another left hand. Now, even off balance, he hit him with a left hand. Well, Heredia's corner telling him he has to keep his right glove up. He's not doing it. And he's just going to get hit with left hands. Every yeah. time Fedosov is in range, he's going to land that punch. I think he's a tired fighter. I think his legs, as we said earlier, were betraying him, are betraying him. Squaring up in front of Fedosov a lot more than he was. And coming in, Barry, the big difference between these two is quality of opposition. Fedosov had fought much better opponents. Already, as a result of fighting the type of fighters he's been fighting, he doesn't have the, you know, the background to, to, wither, to weather this kind of assault. Three punch combination, two to the body by Fedosov, who just is stalking Heredia now. Fedosov told us he had a couple of opportunities to fight Wilder. Didn't think it was the right time. Happened to be in Russia at the time. Didn't think he could get over here and get himself ready in time. But that's interesting, because that tells you he's close to the top level yeah. of the division. He did spar in Alabama with Wilder when Wilder was preparing for the fight that didn't happen against Povietkin. Two good body shots. Now he comes upstairs, double left hand in the head. Heredia says, come on, but I don't think he really means it. Another big left hand. Wow. That knocks Heredia backward again. He's ready to go, I think, Barry. I think so, too. Wisely, Fedosov was working the body. There's a right hand that gets there. Let him go. Fedosov was working the body, trying to bring Heredia's hands down even further. You almost can see inside of Fedosov's head. He's, he's, he's saving his energy for one more assault this round. Coming down to the final 30 seconds, and you see Heredia just kind of back up. And, Try to take a breath and catch a second win. There's another big left hand left to the body, right to the head, drops him again. Three, four. He's about done. Five, six, seven, eight. You okay? Yeah. All right. Let's go, Buck. Ten seconds. It will not take very much. Another left hand. He misses with a wild left hand. And once again, Heredia survives. And once again, the knockdown came with 22 yes. seconds left in the round. Yes. Then again, not consistent. Sit down. That left hand is hurting us so much. It's incredible, that left hand. It's working it. You need to put some Vaseline on. Let's see. Keep breathing. That left is, that's it. That's the damage right there. That left hand, there's nothing else. Got to keep that right hand up. Uh, 
I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm okay. For the third round in a row, we see Heredia going down. He starts against the ropes. Look at that right glove. So we're way low. And I'll tell you, it's fortunate that he grabbed the rope there. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, he would have gone crashing down on the floor. So this is round six. Heredia told his corner, I'm fine. Suppose they believed him? <laughs> <laughs> no. And the combination, there's a big left hand. That top rope is dangerously loose. I'll tell you why it's loose, because it's 286 pounds. Wow. <laughs> there is that. Going up against it. Three 10 8 rounds in a row for Pedosov. He's way ahead on the cards now. Little rally. Yeah. Two to the body. This is an uppercut. And that might be it. <laughs> to, to have a chance to win this fight, Heredi really needed to be up at the halfway mark because it figured the second half of the fight would belong to Fedosov, right. who's been longer in fights, who's in better shape, but that's not the case. And down goes Heredia once again from the left hand. I think there comes a point you say seven, that's enough. Eight. Okay, we got to stop it here, man. Well All stopped. Right. Well stopped. Oh, yeah, I huh? Richard Pagosdi steps in, says that's I enough. I know you're good, man. Well stopped. Right. That was enough. Yeah. And I was getting sick of hearing you say, down goes already. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. That was a recording. That was not me. <laughs> Four times in uh, four rounds, Barry. So Fedosev uh, really kind of did what he needed to do here. Comes up, fights a guy who I'll, I'll say it was a credible opponent. I mean, he had 13 wins. I don't know the caliber of competition, but yeah. at least the guy who you knew had some pop, and he did what he needed to do. Yeah, and it's a big win for Fedosov because it was his first fight in a year, and we see the finish here. He actually missed the left hook, and already still went down. So, I think already was just sick of it. Watch how this, well, that, that punch certainly didn't miss. But that hook missed, and I guess it was from the first left hook, already went down, and, you know, in that year layoff for Fedosov, a funny thing happened. The heavyweight division became hot. Yeah, absolutely. And there's a need for fighters, and with the Buxino Championship, and now this, national television on show extreme, he's a little bit of a player. Well, absolutely, and that's, we talked about show extreme, and so here's the opening act, and I have an idea at the very least he's going to be a second banana. All right, let's go to the center of the ring. We'll make it all official here once more. It is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 33 seconds in round number six. Our referee in charge, Richard Pekosdi, had seen enough. He stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, and he is the WBA Federal Latin Heavyweight Champion, Andre Fedosov. So there's your winner, Andre Fedosov, and uh, a 